Use these secret block strap fast flags to boost FPS and lower ping in Roblox for 2025. In this video, I'm showing you exactly how I unlocked smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, and faster response times using hidden fast flag settings most players don't even know about. Follow along step by step and your Roblox will run like never before. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Use all CPU cores for better Roblox performance. To make Roblox run better, we need your computer's CPU processor to work at full power. First, press the Windows key and type System Configuration in the search bar, then click to open it. This is where you can adjust boot and hardware usage settings. Once the window opens, go to the Boot tab at the top, then click on Advanced Options. A new window will appear. Check the box that says Number of Processors. This allows you to choose how many CPU cores you want to use instead of letting Windows decide automatically. From the drop-down list, pick the highest number available. That number is the total number of CPU cores, or threads, your system has, and we want to use all of them to maximize processing power. More cores being active means your system can handle more work at the same time. Click OK, then click Apply, and then close the system configuration window. This change tells Windows to allow Roblox and all your apps to use your entire CPU. This means less lag, faster loading, better FPS, and an overall smoother experience when playing Roblox because your CPU will be working at full capacity. Step 2. Enable all CPU cores for maximum speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU may not always use all of its cores unless you configure it to do so. By default, Windows can park some cores or lower their speed to save power, but that can slow down games. To unlock full CPU power while gaming, we'll use a free tool called Park Control. Download and install Park Control, then open it. In the program, choose the power plan named Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan is specifically designed to keep your CPU active at full power instead of throttling it down to save electricity. Change the following settings. Parking AC, set to 100% and turn it off. This keeps all CPU cores active when plugged in. Parking DC, set to 100% and turn it off. This keeps all CPU cores active even on battery power. Frequency scaling AC, set to 100% and turn it off. This stops your CPU from lowering its speed when plugged in. Frequency scaling. DC, set to 100% and turn it off. This keeps your CPU running at full speed even when on battery. Now, find the option Bit Some Dynamic Boost and turn it on. This feature turns off unused CPU threads when your PC is idle, but reactivates them during gaming for extra performance, giving you a good balance between power and efficiency. Next, open Windows Power Options and select Bit Some Highest Performance as your active plan. Make sure both CPU parking and frequency scaling are set to 100% for AC, plugged in, and DC, on battery. Click. Make active, then apply to save changes. With these settings, your CPU will always deliver its top speed when running demanding games, avoiding slowdowns caused by energy-saving features. Step 3. Releasing Secret Block Strap. Fast flags to boost Roblox FPS for low-end PCs. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we'll use a tool called Blockstrap to make Roblox smoother and increase FPS. This tool allows you to apply hidden fast flag settings that aren't available in the normal Roblox menu, giving you deeper control over performance. First, go to the FPS Boost Pack and download a file named Blockstrap Launcher. When the download finishes, install it like a regular program. Once it's installed, open the Windows search bar, type Blockstrap, and open the program. Inside Blockstrap, click on Configure Settings. Then, go to the tab called Engine Fast Flag Settings. Scroll down to find the Fast Flag section. Click on I Know What I'm Doing, then click on Add New. This unlocks the ability to manually insert custom performance settings. Next, go back to the Boost Pack folder and open the text file that came with it. This file has different graphics settings called Presets. The one named Secret Fast Flag Graphics is the best one to use unless your PC is extremely weak. In this guide, I'm using the latest Fast Flags, and I suggest you do the same because it gives a strong balance between speed and quality. Copy all the text from that file and paste it into the Fast Flags section in Blockstrap. Click OK. If any messages pop up asking you to confirm, just click Yes. Once that's done, save your settings, close Blockstrap, and open any Roblox game. Now your game should run more smoothly with higher FPS because Roblox is using optimized hidden settings tailored for speed.
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gira Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Optimize RAM performance with ISLC. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. When your PC's RAM is not managed well, games can stutter or slow down, especially if you have many background tasks running. To fix this, we'll use Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Install and open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total memory in megabytes. Divide that number by 2 and type the result into the box that says free memory is lower than. For example, if it shows 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. If it shows 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. This tells ISLC to automatically free memory when half of your RAM is full. Next, turn on these two options. Start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user logon so it runs automatically at startup without you having to open it every time. On the right side, turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.5A for faster RAM response. Set the polling rate to 1000 MS for modern PCs or 1000 MS for older systems, which controls how often ISLC checks for memory to clean. Click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List to clear unused memory immediately. This will free up RAM, prevent memory-related FPS drops, and keep your games running smoother for longer play sessions. Step 5. Turn off Windows Telemetry for more speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Windows runs background services called telemetry that collect system data. On weaker PCs, these can use CPU, memory, and disk speed that would be better used for gaming. Download O&O, install it, and open it. Click Apply Only Recommended Settings. This applies safe changes to stop unnecessary tracking without disabling essential features your PC needs. If prompted to create a restore point, you can skip it if you have already made one. These changes will stop most of the tracking services, freeing up CPU and memory for gaming. Some small Windows features might stop working, but you can always click Undo All Changes in the program to restore them. Once finished, click OK to apply the changes. This will leave your PC with fewer background tasks and more resources for smooth gameplay. Step 6. Make keyboard response faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Even a tiny delay in keyboard input can make a difference. We can reduce this delay with a tool called Filter Keys Setter, which adjusts how quickly Windows responds to key presses. Open the program and change these three settings. Ignore Under, set to 0 MS to remove the delay before detecting key presses so actions register instantly. Repeat Delay, set to 130 MS to control how quickly a key repeats when held down. Repeat Rate, set to 10 MS to make repeated presses happen faster for quicker input. After adjusting these, check the box on the right to enable the settings. Click OK to save changes. Step 7. Disable HPET to reduce stuttering. HPET, High Precision Event Timer, is a Windows feature designed for precise timing, but in some cases it can cause FPS drops or stutters in games. To disable it, right-click the Start button and select Device Manager. Scroll down and open System Devices. Look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET, in the list. Right-click it and choose Disable. This can make your gameplay smoother by removing certain timing delays that interrupt performance. If you ever need to, you can enable it again the same way. 